Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to render a fire explosion. So first we will remove this uh, mesh. So we'll create a separate null for this explosion. And also in the previous video, we have created this smoke trial. So we will add a null to this smoke trial too. So just we'll take a null. So select this, create a null. And just we'll name it as explosion. And also we'll take another null and just we'll name it as like smoke trial. So now we'll go back and just we'll create a new geometry for the trials. So let us create a geometry and we'll name it as smoke trials. And also for this, we'll name it as like um, main underscore like explosion. So just we'll go inside of this geometry and now we will take a node called object match. So this object match is used to import the smoke trials, which we have created in this uh, geometry here. So now we need to browse that smoke trials, which we have created. Uh, and also we have created the null for this uh, trial. So we need to browse that. So now if you go to the smoke trials and here, if you select, there is an option called like object here, we need to browse that. So we need to go to this main explosion and we need to select this null, which we have created. So select this and click on this accept here. So now if you go back, so just we will uh, play this. So now we got this uh, smoke trials. So now we will add a light. So in this, uh, just we will select the light to distant light. Uh, so distant light is nothing but it's a kind of like some light. And now if you select this light, uh, so here if you go to this transform option, so the position of this light doesn't matter. So it matters only the like rotation. So if you want to change the directions of the light, we can use this. So in case if you rotate in Y axis, so you like, we can rotate in Y axis. So see now the lighting is changing and also uh, we will see this light. Uh, so this will move in like X axis. So here you can see this is a light. So now this indicates the directions of the light here. So according to our requirement, we can use this transform of uh, like rotation so that we can able to change the directions of the light and we can rotate in like Z axis. Also, like if you come down, if you want to add light from this down direction, so like we can set the angle and also here there is an option like area light. So what the thing is, suppose if you want to create the light from this direction uh, from where we are viewing. So in order to do the, in order to create the light in that position, we need to control left click so that the light will be created from the viewing angle. And also if you want to change the directions of this angle, uh, then we have to lock this and we need, we can use the camera tool so that we can adjust the lighting position. And also if you want to increase, uh, decrease the intensity, you can decrease the intensity like in this. Way. And now, uh, now if you don't want to change the light position, just we will unlock this so that now we can able to like uh, place the light over this direction here. So now we need to select the angle for uh, render. Uh, so let's say uh, just we'll set the angle. So we'll just zoom out. So like up to here, it's fine. And now I want to create the camera from this position. So we need to control left click so that it will create the camera here. And now if you want to control the camera, we need to click on this lock icon and just we can adjust the camera position and directions. And just if you want to zoom, zoom out, then you can zoom out. So we need to go to this camera tool and just, so we'll set this angle. Uh, so now if you want to set the resolution for this camera, just we can uh, unlock this camera and also now we can change the positions of this view. And if you want to change the resolution, we can select this camera and we can go to this view option. And here you can change the resolution of the final output. So for time being, I will set it to like default. So now we will go out and here we will add a mentra node and select this. And now we will go to this uh, render view and we will select this camera where we want to render. And now we'll just click on this render. So here you can see we got this nice render. And now if you want to change the color of this smoke, uh, so we will go to this like main explosion. And here we can select this uh, pyro bake volume. And here you can see uh, we can change the color of this smoke here. So if you go to this smoke and here we can change it to like light gray or something so that we can able to change the color of the smoke here. And now what the thing is, if you want to render it like a sequence file, uh, so we will go out. So if you select this mantra node and now here you can see, we can select the output folder where you want to save it and you can give the name and also we can select the format. And also here now at present, it has been set it to like uh, render current frame. So here we have to change it to like render frame range. 
So if you want to render from like 1 to 240 frames, then we have to set it to like 1 to 240. So now in this way, we can render the fire explosion by using this mantra. And now if you want to see how to render this fire explosion by using karma. So I have already created the video like how to use the karma render and I will put the video link in the description. So you can watch there how to render the fire uh, by using this karma node. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.